right, so let's quickly talk about another concept uh, which is known as a Safena varix okay so um actually uh, yeah we did all this lower limb anatomy and all that but we didn't actually give uh, importance or how will i say we didn't actually give attention to this concept all right so but when i actually went back doing all this femoral hernia and all that so i saw that safena varix is actually like a differential diagnosis for femoral hernia so i was like wow i need to come do some research on this and i have a video on it so the safena varix you see here all right and from your knowledge of anatomy the vein that passes here is simply the saphenous vein that's a great saphenous vein all right so if there's a dilatation of the great saphenous vein that's what we call what saphenous um this is a great saphenous vein so if the great saphenous vein is enlarging right here is what we call the saphena varix that's a vein varicosil the a vein varicos okay so we'll talk about this condition just define it and just so that you guys should just know it all right it will be important to people doing lower limb anatomy it will be important to people studying hernias okay so it's midway all right so so that this uh saphena varix is actually a dilatation of the great saphenous vein at its junction with the femoral vein in the groin you should note this word this definition it must be at the junction okay at its junction with the femoral vein in the groin okay so it actually appears as a reducible swelling in the groin that can be mistaken for femoral hernia okay you should note this that's why i said that i said that I have differential diagnosis for femoral hernia okay uh, the swelling may elicit a cough impulse and may reduce upon laying down all right the condition is caused by a valvular incompetence and is usually also associated with what significant varicocytes uh, varicocytes right elsewhere along the saphenous system all right the saphenous varics may be easily diagnosed by what ultrasound so if you suspect what that this is a femoral hernia it's always to do a what ultrasound all right just what rule out saphenous varics okay and this condition can be treated with what a high saphenous word ligation all right just strip out or cut out okay the saphenous vein so that's it about what uh the saphenous varics also known as what dilatation of the great saphenous vein all right which could be mistaken for what femoral hernia which was actually what brought us here okay so that's it bye for now